Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we do some practice examples on probability. In our previous classes, we have discussed some concepts. In these examples, will help you a lot in understanding the concepts which we already discussed in our previous classes. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So our first question is in a certain town we are having 40% have brown hair, 25% have brown eyes and 15% have both brown hair and brown eyes. This is what the data they have given in the question. A person is selected random from town. They are going to select a person for randomly from the town and they are going to ask you first question is if he has brown hair. What is the probability that he has brown eyes also? They have given that they randomly selected one person and they said that uh, if he has brown hair, means some condition is given, we are going to apply conditional probability here. Similarly, second question, if he has brown eyes, uh, they have given some condition, if the, they have randomly selected one person and the, if that person is having brown eyes, the probability that he does not have brown hair. This is what we have to identify. Now coming to the solution, we are taking A as brown hair 40%. What is the probability of A that is 0.4 which is given as 40 by 100. Probability of B is 0.25 that is 25 by 100 brown eyes. B means brown eyes. Probability of A intersection B also given 0.15 that is equal to 15 by 100 both brown and brown hair and eyes. This is what they have given in the question. Now coming to our first uh, question, if he has brown hair, a, a person has randomly selected from the town and if he has a brown hair, what is the probability to have brown eyes? Probability of B, if A is given, it was already given that uh, a, the person selected is brown hair, a is, a is considered as brown hair, B is considered as brown eyes. So what is the probability that B happened if A is already given? That is given as probability of A intersection B by probability of A. Probability of A intersection B is 15 by 100 divided by 40 by 100 that is equal to 3 by 8. This is what our answer is. Coming to the second question, if he has brown eyes, means B is given. Probability not having brown hair means probability of A complement it was already given B that is given as probability of A complement intersection B divided by probability of B probability of A complement intersection B can be written as a, from the Venn diagram point of view these basics were already discussed in our sets and relations mathematics if you are not good at this basic uh, sets and relations uh, please watch our discrete mathematics playlist in that we are going to discuss a set and relation theory uh, in discrete mathematics A B a intersection B is given. If you want to identify, we need to identify A complement intersection B. This violet lines part comes under A complement intersection B. This can be given as B minus A intersection B. This is set difference we are considering here. What is set difference? We are not going to explain all these concepts here. These are basics in our sets and relations, discrete mathematics. So this can be written as A, A complement intersection B is written as probability of B minus probability of A intersection B divided by probability of B. So we are having probability of B, we are having probability of A intersection B, probability of B. If you apply it, this can be written as 25 by 100 minus 15 by 100 divided by 25 by 100 that is equal to 2 by 5. Now coming to the next question. A class has 10 boys and 5 girls. Three students are selected at random one after another. So first one, first we will pick one, one student, second we will pick second student, third we are going to pick third student. And they did not say anything about a replacement. If they don't say anything about replacement means they are not going to replace it back. Means these are independent events. No, not independent events, dependent events. This comes under dependent events. So find the probability. Our first question is find the probability first and third are same sex and second is opposite sex. So the first one you have to pick if you select boy. 
third one should be boy and second one should be girl if you select first one is girl third one should be girl second one should be boy this is what they say first and third are same sex and second is opposite sex so what are the possibilities we have in order to satisfy this condition first one is boy third one is boy second one is girl or second condition second possibility first one is girl third one is girl second one is boy these two are mutually exclusive events be, means happening of these two events at the same time is not possible if they are mutually exclusive events uh, either this can happen or this can happen that's why we say it as or this can be written as probability of b1 g2 b3 union g1 b2 g3 is equal to these are mutually exclusive means disjoint sets probability of b1 g2 b3 plus probability of g1 b2 g3 and consider about this probability of b1 g2 b3 what's the meaning of this first one should happen second one should happen third one should happen means this can be written as probability of b1 intersection g2 intersection b3 these are the dependent events from the multiplicative law we can write it as probability of b1 probability of g2 given b1 probability of b3 given b1 intersection g2 the, this equation comes from multiplicative law similarly we have to write the equation for this and we need to identify the probability see 10 boys and 5 girls are there first time if you select a probability of b1 10 by 15 second time 5 by 14 second time should be a girl five girls are there 5 by 14 already one boy selected so that's why third time nine boys left 9 by 13 this is what the probability this is the conditional probability why we are going very fast here we already done this example in our last class that's why we are not going to explain again this uh, how we got all the things similarly if you write the equation for this probability of b3 b1 intersection g2 uh, so this one g1 b2 g3 5 by 15 first time if you select girl 5 by 15 second time if you select boy 10 boys will be there 10 by 14 students remain so 10 by 14 third time if you want to select a boy uh, select a girl already one goal has been selected so 4 by 13 this is what the probability is total probability is 5 by 21 this is the final probability hope you understand the examples these examples will help you a lot in understanding the concepts of conditional probability mutual exclusive events independent events and all those things if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you